Then there's always St Mary's in Elland. We've never been regulars there, but your Auntie Linda says they're very amenable. OK, look, the thing is, Mum, I'd prefer a registry office. Well, I think a lot of people would be very disappointed. Psst, psst. Cheryl, she's in the pudding club. Jane, we've been trying for five Are years, you nothing, to me? and then ping. But people go there and can't afford to do anything different. I don't know what she's been taking. Jane, no, people go there because they don't want a load of fuss and they don't want to be made to look like a twat in a big white dress. Speaking of dresses, I don't want a dress. I'm going to treat myself to some new Doc Martens and a jumper. Jane, that's not even remotely funny. People think you're peculiar. Cheryl's pregnant. Whose is it? You're bitter, I understand. No, I'm pleased for you. I'm so thrilled I could shit. Ah, uh, and it's come just at the right time. How's that, then? I put in an application for North Acton, so I'll be earning more for all those essential bits and pieces. Ah, kids, eh? You and Dave never wanted kids. Bit late now, eh? Oh, well. Onwards and upwards. I don't want all that pomp and ceremony. I just want to get it over with as quickly as possible. Well, what are you getting married for, then? And I think there's one vital factor that you're overlooking, Jane. Why? Weddings are for the parents as much as anyone. But not me, obviously. Yeah, I'm easy going. I'm thinking more about Richard's mum and dad. I, th I think my parents would prefer it all done properly, yeah. I'm sorry. That's not what I'd choose either, but I think that if your mum and dad want to spend that kind of money, then I think we should respect that. Oh, and, and there's, th there's something else. What? It's about Robert. What about him? I'd like to ask him to be my best man. Well, he's my best friend. Well, he used to be. And I'd like to think that we could put it all behind us. Hello. It's uh, an invite to the wedding. Oh, no, I'm touched. I am. I'll oh, give us a kiss. Mm. <laughs> uh, here, your little mate's waiting for you in there. What little mate? Thingy from your house. Karen? No. Richard? No, the other one. Richard wants me to be his best man. I know. So, how do you feel about that? Yeah, if... Yeah, if you do. As long as you don't hate the idea. No. I, I was surprised he asked me. Except he doesn't have any other friends, so I suppose I felt sorry for him. That and... He seems to be under the impression that we didn't really get up to very much. Or at least that... It was all a bit crap. Oh. So. Yes, I may have given him that impression. Was it? All a bit crap? No. Oh, well. Oh, good. I mean, I realise it wasn't. I'm sorry. Are you sure it's what you want? Marrying Richard? Marrying anybody? Marrying? Yes. Most of the time. Can I 
buy you a cup of tea. at around 12.30 because I'm not convinced that he's on the ball. Then Linda's bringing Billy Joe and the twins at 12.45 and I want them in their dresses by 1.15, no later than. I'm leaving for the church at half past so I shall need to be ready myself. Then you're in charge. No sweets, crisps, pop, alcohol, anything that'll spill. And that goes for Jane, as well as the twins, needless to say. Right. Then your car's arriving at 10 2. Right, 10 o'clock. That's you, off to collect the cake. Then you're taking it straight to the hotel, and then you're coming straight back here. Why don't you go and see if she's. I'll make sure she's up. Well, go on, off you pop. Something I've got to tell you. What? I can't wear that dress. I'm sorry, but it's not me. I'd rather wear something. No, Jane. I can't explain it. I just. I've been lying here all night with it staring at Jane. me. Jane, Jane, you're wearing the dress. I did say right from the word go. Jane, we are not having this conversation. It's too late. Why did you tell Richard my dad had it off with someone else? What? Before I was born. Well, because he did. Why did you tell him? It just came out. Oh. I asked him not to tell you. He said. Three hours yet before you need to think about the dress. You have a bath. I'll make you some breakfast. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy for you. I don't want you to think this is sour grapes, because it ain't. You make a perfectly good control, though, even if you are on the quiet side. But the bigger point is, I didn't know the applications all had to be approved by Dave, did I? And had it been otherwise... Oh, you want to do your homework, mate? And had it been otherwise, there might have been two of us. Made controller. Yes. Bloody hell, jolly we are. I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want you to know. He's your dad. Anyway, it's all in the past. Is it? Yes, of course it is. Gone and forgotten. That's not what Richard said you'd said. Richard didn't tell you about the milkman, did he? What? Oh, no. Nothing like that. I just... fancy him, I suppose. Well, he doesn't know. No, it's... We got over it. And then we had you. The point I may have made to Richard is that it can come back to haunt you from time to time when you have a set to about, well, anything, really, you can set it off. Oh, but it doesn't matter, love. Certainly not today. Something dies. It can. But you're all right, you and Richard, aren't you? Despite what happened with... Well, that. Your Uncle Peter and his wife aren't getting on too well, apparently. She keeps locking him out of the house. Who's that? I'm going upstairs. Good 
morning, madam. Robert? Is Jane in? Yes, she's, uh, let me find you something you can use as an ashtray. Hello? Robert? What are you doing here? Um, I, I was, uh, I, I, was, I was passing. It's nice to see you. You right? No, I'm not. I've got to wear that bloody thing. Well, it's, it's pretty. Right, well, you wear it then. I told him I couldn't stand it when they made me choose it. I hate big, fat, white weddings. They make me sick. I wanted a small do in a registry office. With nobody there. Not a load of cousins who aren't exactly sure who I am. Did you? Aren't you supposed to be with Richard? Yes, I was. Uh, uh, well, I am. I, I just wanted to say something to you before you... Um... What? I fixed up a booking at, at the registry office in Huddersfield. A few weeks ago, Karen came with me. We, we borrowed your birth certificate. Just in case you changed your mind, I, I wanted to give you a choice. It's probably really arrogant and stupid of me, but you only get one chance at certain things, and I am... Um, it would be a shame to get to the last moment and realise there was still something you could have done to show how much you love someone. Booking? Yeah. We've got... Um, got 25 minutes to get there if, if you want to if you don't that's fine I'll, I'll just turn up at the, with Richard at the church two o'clock and, and I'll be his best man and, and you'll marry him and spend the rest of your life with him and nobody will know any different say something Is, is that no, then, or, or the other one? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> you want to smile more, you know, mate. Don't cost anything. This is silly. They'll be busy. She'll be pleased to see us. We might get a cup of tea if we're lucky. Mum! Oh, God! Mum! One of the twins has broken out in cold sores. Today of all days. She's covered in them, apparently. Has she? I'm just popping out with Robert, Mum. I shan't be long. Right. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Witnesses. Sorry, this is his idea. I said we shouldn't. No, 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 you're fine. Uh, can you drive us into Huddersfield? Yeah, sure. Got four. We're getting married. I thought it was the other one. It was. Get in. <laughs> Compton Lewis, uh, 11 o'clock. Are you we're sure late. you're doing the right thing? Oh, let me just. I should have seen what was staring me in the face. I've been obsessed with Richard for years, and then when I finally got him, I just kept thinking about Robert and ignored it. They said we could go straight in. <laughs> well, don't you go assuming too much. But I want to tell everybody we're back together properly. Well, I'm not ready, Mandy. And we're not back together properly, necessarily. Last night? One shag. It may be a start, I agree. It's such a nice time to tell people, though, at a wedding. It was only going to be Helen and Jane and that little turd, Gokahani, there, that we know. It's a start. Yeah, and don't go mad with the booze. It's a wedding. Yeah, I understand. We all like a drink. However... Let's book a hotel. Let's not drive home tonight. Let's stay somewhere nice and make a weekend of it. Go on. We'll see. Go on. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, here's to you. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. Have you 
thought about what's going to happen in the next hour or so as regards um, telling other people. No, exactly, no. People like Richard? No. Well, we'll, um... We, 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 we're just going to have to... Uh... Why don't I get another round in? Good plan. And then we'll... Yeah, we'll... Yeah. Uh, same, same again. The orange juice, thanks. Two lagers of beer and an orange juice, please. Right, yeah. I'd like me to take a photograph at all. Oh, And yeah, a yeah. large vodka. OK. You tell me, dear. You tell me. Don't blame me. Don't you dare blame me. I've done everything. I've organised everything. What was the last thing you remember her saying? Oh, she was panicking about having to wear the dress. She's decided she doesn't like it after we've spent God knows how much on it. She'd rather wear a, I don't know, a plastic bag and some wellies. You get into your car and go. She'll turn up. She's not that daft. Oh. Have you been? I'll, I'll get that there. Get into that house and get that bloody dress on. Get up them stairs, put that dress on and get into that car. Dad, I'm not wearing a dress. Where did can't go dressed like that? I can't, actually. I can wear what the Bruce Heller likes my own wedding. However... But what will Richard think? Oh, um... I don't think you care what I'm wearing exactly now. Look, I know you're going to be cross, but... No, if it's not what you wanted. And anyway, I can get my money back if it hasn't been worn. Oh, yeah. Can you? Right, that's it. Come on, girls. I'm ready just to see the look on your mother's face. Uh... So long as you make it clear that I did everything I could to persuade you to put it on. Yeah. More walk. I'm Jane's uncle, Peter. Karen, how do you do? She's on her way. At last. I will suspend you, lacing people's drinks. Oh, keep your hair on. Just thought it'd be nice to see you loosen up a bit. Yeah, nice to see me lose my job when I'm over the limit. You were at least ironed up before any damage was done. You ought to be grateful to oh, me. Oh, shit, Ed. Well, that's not very nice, is it, coming on Jane's wedding? I can't tell him. How can I tell him now he's going to be there in the church? Yeah, well, if we'd been able to get here sooner in my car. All oh, right, all right. Yes. Well, yeah, I've got, I've got the rings. Have you been drinking? Uh, oh, yeah, well, yes. Oh, God, I could be really cross with you sometimes. Yes, I imagine you could. Richard? She's on her way. What? She's on her way. It's a good job you got here before she did.
Well, it's going to be rather unorthodox with you dressed like that, Jane, but that's what I've always liked about you. And I suspect that's what Richard likes about you, too. You always think that bit differently, don't you? Do I? Come on, girls. Smile. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the presence of God to join together Richard and Jane in holy matrimony, to pray for God's blessing for them, to share their joy, and to celebrate love their love. As yeah. a man and a woman, it's a marriage bit after you have trouble and trust. Oh. They shall be united with one another in heart, body, and mind as Christ is united with his bride, the church. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. The vows that you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Say something. What? Shh. Richard Andrew Lomas. Do you take Jane Hall to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Jane Hall, will you take Richard Andrew Lomas to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. 